Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, today we will continue to talk about the Japanese Yen, although right now guys I see also interesting situations and setups on the other currencies, for example as a reaction on the significant increase of the uh, job created in Australia, that was the significant jump up on Australian dollar and there is now uh, excellent context for trading the short term this scalp Jodnapoli setup on the hourly time frame chart of the Australian dollar that could be the either double rip or all bread and butter. Also some interesting setups on the New Zealand dollar. You probably guys know that the National Bank of the New Zealand has announced the increasing of the rates, the rates hike and uh, has made an, a hint on the possible continuation of the tightening policy. That's also created some possibilities for trading in Australian uh, on the New Zealand dollar. And um, something interesting also you will find on the Canadian dollar. On the weekly chart we could get the double repo sale on the Canadian dollar. So uh, since the, there's really a significant geopolitical uh, turmoil right now and uh, some other events in changing in the micro data in the United States, uh, the situation in the, with the economy chilling in the China. So a lot of different factors that now are imp impact on the markets. That creates the possibilities on the different currencies for trading. Well, uh, on the euro currencies also uh, situation has got some continuation and the uh, uh, market now is continuing to move to the upside. We will take a look probably on the euro currency with the details in our next weekly research since we um, haven't updated this uh, currency pair on the previous week. Well, uh, right now I think that we could focus on the Japanese yen because market is approaching to some levels. Since we are trading right now the monthly pattern and uh, we are searching for the possibility to take in the long position on the Japanese yen. The first level that we have discussed uh, yesterday has been reached. So you can see, uh, just to remind you, the core of our analysis is this bullish stop grabber on the monthly time frame chart. Also some untouched targets on the monthly time frame chart that stands above the current high on the Japanese yen. On the lower time frame chart, uh, we have this nicely looking ABCD pattern with the fast CD leg. And the one factor that has stopped this upward action is daily overbought accompanied by the fib resistance that creates the Jordan Napoli uh, stretch directional pattern that is the bearish stretch that as a rule leads to some retracement down. Also market has completed the 100% target of this ABCD pattern. So that is the reasonable retracement that we should use for taking the long position with the upward continuation. The next target will stand at 1618 extension of that ABCD is around 10480 approximately. So now let's take a look at the intraday charts. On the intraday charts we have uh, this pattern that we have discussed yesterday, ABC top, and we said that market should hit this level at minimum. And that has happened. So you can see this is this is really solid level. So weekly pivot point has been tested. That is also agreement support, it's a combination of the ABCD pattern and 38 support 10260. That's the significant target. Uh, at the same time, we said that depending what will happen around this area, we can't exclude that market could show some deeper retracement because, as we see on the daily time frame chart, market has hit the overbought. And when market hits the overbought, usually retracement, uh, usually market shows uh, maybe deeper retracements as a reaction on the overbought condition because that's not just the resistance, that's also the overbought. In this uh, situation, uh, any markets has the tendency to show deeper retracement. That's why if market will not hold here, we'll take a look at this, will not hold here, the next destination point will be approximately 1618 extension 10210 and 10190 FIP support. It's right here. From the perspective of the ABCD pattern, retracement even to the 618 support uh, will not cancel this 
pattern and will not cancel the opportunity of the high continuation. But if market will move lower than this low, in this case, this pattern will be vanished, and we will have to wait to understand what what is going on. But right now, uh, our first task is for today trading session. We will keep an eye on this consolidation on the intraday charts, uh, and uh, we'll try to catch any reversal pattern if it will be formed here. If it, if it will happen, we could try to take the position in advantage of the upward continuation. If market will fail to form any pattern here or will show just continuation to the downside, next level that we will watch for is this uh, range between the 1618 extension of the ABCD pattern and the major 618 support on the 4-hour time frame chart is 10190 area. On the hourly time frame chart, there are some patterns could be formed here. One pattern, is a, as you see, as you can see, this could be the butterfly buying. 127 or 1618, but 127 is the current situation, will be more logical. Second pattern that could be formed, since we know that butterfly very often becomes the part of the head and shoulders, so here you could, we could get some kind of the head and shoulders pattern. Also, market could create some falling wage pattern or something of that sort. So free drive pattern, something, uh, any, anything could ha happen. You can see that's a lot of possibilities. A lot of patterns could start from the simple butterfly. And that is the patterns that we will try to catch today. The one thing that we do not want to see, as I said yesterday, we do not want to see the drastical and just a uh, miserable plunge down, fast acceleration to the downside. If this will happen, we should not even think about the taking long position here. We would like to get some gr uh, gradual retracement, something of that sort. Uh, it's not; it, it should not be too fast. We need to see some gradual move uh, to complete this reversal pattern. So that's our major task for today, tomorrow trading sessions, trying to catch the reversal pattern in this area. So if we will get some anything, we could try to take the long position and advantage of. Uh, monthly pattern and uh, uh, in advantage of the uh, ABCD pattern that now stands on the daily time frame chart. Even if we will, 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 will be wrong, uh, I count that market will show some respect to this support area. That will let us to move our stops into the break even and during the respect of this support some re by some retracement, for example. Uh, and if it will, even we will become wrong, uh, I hope that we will be able to exit with the no loss if even market will re-establish re the downward action and will start move to the lower support areas. In general, until market holds above these lows, uh, our setup for the bullish stop grab pattern will be valid on the monthly time frame chart. So if market only will take out of these lows, the monthly pattern will be, will be erased. Uh, that's a really big distance, but uh, guys, this is the monthly pattern, so uh, that's why on the daily time frame chart this distance is, looks really significant. So that's been said, uh, the setup is still uh, alive on the Japanese yen with the possible bullish continuation, and uh, we will keep an eye on the possible bullish reversal pattern on the intraday charts today.